Brain surgery is often a life altering experience, but one UC neurosurgeon says it doesn't have to change the way patients see themselves. That's right. You know, WCPO 9 News reporter Kristen Swilly spoke to the former UC nurse on the other end of a hair saving procedure she wants others to know about. When Chantel Howell learned she had a brain tumor, losing her hair was honestly the last thing on her mind. But she says being able to keep it was a huge source of comfort to her family. And now she wants others in her shoes to know it's an option. I don't feel like anything was super out of the ordinary, at least from my own perspective. But through the eyes of someone in her care, the labor and delivery nurse got a life saving observation. Went into a patient's room and was apparently repeating myself. Um, I don't remember doing that. That patient told another nurse, prompting Howell to schedule an MRI that led to life changing news. I think she said extensive and life changing. And that's really all that I remember. Days later, she began treatment with Dr. Matthew Garrett. When I first met um, Chantel, she had um, a very large part of her brain um, involved with a, with a low grade glioma. But the news wasn't all bad. He was able to remove the worst part of the tumor that appeared to be progressing, meaning he could start the process of helping her live with it and he could save Howell's long hair. On the pediatric side, um, almost always hair is preserved on, on the head if possible. It's a way to help keep spirits high and help people feel normal, something he thought adults could use too, and many patients now prefer. Garrett says shaving the entire head was traditionally done to prevent infection, but with proper care, surgeons have learned it can be avoided. There's a lot to process and deal with um, when you're facing a, a cancer diagnosis and um, I didn't have to walk around wearing it on my head, um, at least not initially. So I think that was helpful. Powell says she did go on to lose much of her hair due to radiation, but as you can see, grew right back. She's now stable and she's encouraging other patients to talk to their doctor about this option. Reporting at UC Medical, Kristen Spilly, WCPO 9 News.